Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. No justice for all. Exclusivity is the word of the day for Americans as 9-11 memorial services were held in Washington, D.C. and on Ground Zero in New York City over the weekend. While being watched by police and armed troops of the National Guard, over 50 protesting Christian clerics and supporters prayed outside the memorial service held in the Big Apple, alienated after Mayor Bloomberg banned clergy-led prayer from the ceremony. Blaze.com says Archbishop Timothy Dolan agreed with Bloomberg's decision to exclude prayer from the service, despite the key role religious organizations played in responding to the catastrophic attack. Also worth mentioning is Washington, D.C.'s memorial service, which included speeches from Muslim and Buddhist leaders, but excluded representation of the 70 million Catholics in the United States. Meanwhile, Islamic jihadists in England paid their disrespect to the victims of 9-11 with red, white, and burn. London's 9-11 memorial service was interrupted by hundreds of Muslim extremists this weekend as they set an American flag on fire outside the U.S. Embassy in London, desecrating the memory of those who died during the historic attack. One protester of the activist group Muslims Against Crusades said, quote, you will always face suffering, you will always face humiliation unless you withdraw your troops from Muslim lands, end quote. However, the gathering sparked anti-protests as opposing Muslims gathered in retaliation, and responding police also dealt with a third anti-Muslim group that formed. The protest took place just before the memorial service itself, which was attended by Prince Charles and the English Prime Minister David Cameron, as well as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Kingdom. Contraception Conquest. Newly released documents confirm that the United States government is trying to control international resources by forcing population control on the Philippines. LifeSite News reports a diplomatic cable from WikiLeaks reveals that the United States has been involved in population control efforts in the country for the past 40 years and mentions the currently controversial reproductive health bill, which would legalize contraceptives and abortion. The release of the correspondence comes after bill supporter and Filipino Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago acknowledged the influence of a 40-year-old report known as U.S. National Security Memorandum 200 during a Senate debate. According to the Director of Human Life Inter International, Memorandum 200, quote, explicitly laid out a detailed strategy by which the United States would aggressively promote population control in developing nations in order to regulate or have better access to the natural resources of these countries, end quote. You can read the full story on our resource page by clicking the link right outside the screen. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, Expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Pro-life purge. Medical schools are using a loophole in the interview process to keep pro-life students from becoming doctors, according to a recent study. Daniel Kubler, a, di a biology professor at Franciscan University in Steubenville, points out that hundreds of anecdotes compiled by the Catholic Medical Association reveal that ethical questions about abortion are being used to flag pro-life students and deny them entry to med school. A 2007 survey of medical students says 40 percent identify themselves as liberals while only 27 percent are conservative, a difference which is considerably higher than the average population. Kubler says identifying medical students as pro-lifers leaves them vulnerable to being dismissed as quote intolerant or quote unlikely to work well with others. Please read the full article on our resource page by clicking on the link right over here. Gibson's Hanukkah. After being severely labeled an anti-Semite in recent years, Mel Gibson is stepping back into the limelight to produce a film about Judas Maccabeus, the biblical warrior who defeated pagan hordes 
and whose victory established the celebration of Hanukkah. The Associated Press reports that Gibson is working with Warner Brothers to develop the film through his well-known Icon Productions label. Warner would also like him to direct the film, although Mel will be making that decision when writer Joe Esterhaus completes the script. Early in his career, Esterhaus wrote the screenplays for Flashdance and Basic Instinct, but more recent works include the inspirational foreign film Children of Glory about the Hungarian Revolution of 1956 against Communist Russia. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today where Michael talks about the Catholic War. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.